Warning, this show contains lots of vulgarity, questionable content, and the angry jackalope might just be a crazy motherfucker. You've been warned. What's up, YouTube Bakers? Check out the Robricks. Hey, motherfuckers. So, this this story time right here is kind of a quasi interactive thing. Um, I, I I was thinking to myself, I was thinking to myself about death. Uh, lately, it's been on my mind. So we you know recently we had the death of Prince, and the death of China, and people are kind of looking at their social profiles for these indicators of hey, what's going on? And I realize a lot of this interaction, whether it be YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, these are little segments of our life. And these are little breadcrumbs we leave behind for each other. But what's interesting to me is I, I had to thought, what in our minds, right? What, what, are, what are the things that we see? You know, you hear that expression, man, I almost died and I saw my life, saw my life flash before my eyes, right? And... So that got me thinking, shit, man, if I, if, if I almost die, I wonder what thoughts, I wonder what memories are going to flash before my eyes. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going through a mental exercise right now, and I'm trying to think about the good, the bad, and the ugly that just pops right up. And I invite you guys to try this exercise yourself. Just see real quick, you know, obviously... The good things, you know, uh, my marriage, when, when I got married, my, the birth of my children, uh, some of the first jobs, the excitement that went along with that, uh, lovers that I had, you know, the, my first experiences with lovers, uh, you know, fresh relationships, things of that nature. Then, it, you know, hand in hand, what are some of the bad? Those relationships falling apart, uh, betrayals, lying, um, you know, getting getting uh, into the job and then being disillusioned after being so excited that the potential and then it's it's such a negative. And then, you know, the ugly, you know, seeing uh, people just do atrocious things to each other, seeing people not caring about the environment, you know, just conversations, snippets. It's interesting to think, you know, what would flash in your mind at the moment of death? You know, uh, there was a guy... There was a guy I met uh, years ago, and I can't pronounce his name. I can't pronounce his name, but he wrote a book, and it was kind of a cool book because it was the moment of death, and it was this guy kind of coming to realization that he had died and all this crazy stuff that was, like he saw Santa Claus, and he saw all these different characters that went through, and it was a very interesting book, and I really enjoyed it. I think his name is Merrill... Oh, and I can't pronounce his last name. It starts with a T. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find his fucking book. I don't know if he's still trying his hand at being an author, but at the time he wrote a book, and he and I are still Facebook friends. Uh, so I, 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 I do the obligatory happy birthday to him, and if he posts something in English that I can understand, then I sit there and uh, reply back to it. And, you know, I try to, I try to keep my network of people... Um, close so that I can interact with him but his book stands out it's a very interesting read and I'm sitting there reminded of it right now as I'm going through this mental exercise trying to figure out what would fucking pass through my head when I fucking die right before I die that moment that split moment right before I die what are the memories you know uh, I, I really hope and pray it's not something stupid like oh the time I had to stand up in class and I had a boner and a couple of girls saw it, you know. I hope it's not stupid memories like that. I hope as I die, you know, I'm filled with peace and I see the beautiful things that have happened in my life. Or even the things that I learned valuable life lessons from. I don't mind remembering a negative, horrible situation if there was something profound I stepped away from and, and learned from. You know what I mean? So I don't... I'm not a morbid person. I don't like to sit and dwell on things like this. But, you know, China was uh, 45. I'll be 45 this year. So that kind of struck home with me. I still don't know what her cost of death was. But, you know, it's something that bothers me. And I've, I've got a few friends that are dead now. And I've got, you know, it's just, I'm at that age now where I'm starting to lose friends. And I'm starting to lose people that are, you know, in our age. A good friend of mine, Rod, we were sitting there talking. And he pointed out, 
yeah, man, we're at that age. Motherfuckers are going to start dropping. And I'm like, man, we ain't that fucking old, though. You know what I mean? Not really. But, you know, I, I am fully aware, you know, the fact that I'm a fat fuck. And that is is very likely going to be part of the culprit of uh, my demise. I doubt, seriously, I'm going to make it to the age of, like, you know, 95 or some shit like that. I don't think I'm going to make it that long. But, you know... Uh, at the same time, I'm not really, not really afraid of death, but I would like, I, I'm curious at that moment, what's going to flash through my head? I'm just curious. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys because uh, it's on my mind and, you know, whatever's on my mind, I just kind of share with you good folks. That's it for now. All right, guys, if you like it, like it, please subscribe, tell all your friends. Until next time, please be good to each other and make really good memories so... When it is time for you to go, hopefully those are the things that will populate your mind that split second before oblivion or whatever else happens after. Okay, guys.